Let's look at techniques to help students learn about mixed numbers. We're using free online visual tools from Conceptua Math. This is the ordering fractions on a number line tool, and I'll demonstrate how to use this effectively in a 5 to 15 minute group discussion. Let's see how I have things set up. I placed four fractions on the screen. They're mixed numbers. One and a fourth, three and a half, four and one eighth, two and seven eighths. And I've created a number line that moves between zero and five with no other demarcations except those whole numbers. So I can begin this way. Ask the students, we're going to be placing each one of these mixed numbers between two whole numbers. So one fourth is going to go between two whole numbers as is three and a half. And before we do so, I'm going to give you a chance to look at how many holes there are in each fraction in a visual way. I'm going to show these as circle fractions. Talk with your neighbor, talk with your group, and tell me what those circles are going to look like. For instance, with three and a half, when I create the circle fractions, how many whole circles are, am I going to have, and what will the fractional part look like? So I can have a discussion and have the students predict what the visual is going to look like, and then, just like this, I can show it to them. Yes, in fact, three and a half is three holes in one half. There's a one-to-one -one relationship between that visual presentation and the numeric representation. Now we begin the placement on the number line. So where does three and a half belong? Between what whole numbers? And again, the, the group discussion takes place. A student comes up in front of the class and places it between the numbers. The student may realize that it's possible to be more precise and to place it midway between three and four, but that's not the question that we initially asked. We're just asking, between what whole numbers does it go? Likewise, we do the same with the other fractions. Now we move a step further. We can add more benchmarks. I use this icon, and I have calibrated the number line a little bit more, because I've created half partitions between each of the whole numbers. So now I can ask a more precise question, a question that begs for more precision. So one and one-fourth, where is that going to be placed on the number line? What's the accurate placement? Is it, we know it's between one and two, is it on the left of one and a half, on the right side of one and a half? And we can have that conversation with the students. They can talk with one another. We want them to come to the realization that it is in fact halfway between one and one half. Likewise with the other fractions. Now if your students are ready, we can do a little bit more. We can look at decimal equivalence as well. So when we look at two and seven eighths, we can, uh, we can see that as we move this fraction along the number line, we have a dynamic readout of the decimal value, and that in fact the right place would be 2.875. I'll get it right there. So this is how we can use this tool set to help students understand mixed numbers.